Custom classes let you control the visual style of elements in much greater detail than the predefined sidebar options. If you come from a graphic design background, think of them as layer styles with the added bonus that they can be applied and synced across multiple elements within a project. With a custom class, you're able to fine-tune almost any aspect of an element from its positioning to its background color. There are various ways to add custom classes to a project. The easiest way is via the sidebar. When an element is selected on the design canvas, the sidebar is populated with options relating to the element. In the top section of these options, there is an input field labeled Classes. Typing a class name into this field, then hitting Return, will add a new class to the selected element. Once an element has a class applied to it, a small token will be displayed within the class field. These tokens represent the classes that are currently applied to the selected element. You can add as many custom classes to an element as you like. You can also reuse custom classes on other elements in your project to give them the same visual style. To edit the values of a custom class, simply left-click the class token you wish to edit. This will open the class editor. The class editor has various controls for refining almost any visual aspect of the selected element. For example, I can now apply a drop shadow to the headline on my page using the text shadow controls found on the class editor. It's also possible to change the appearance of an element based on its state. At the top right of the class editor, there's a drop-down button. This is the state selector. Changing this drop-down selection will allow you to set specific design style values for the element when it is in a particular state. There are three states available. Normal, Hover, and Active. The normal state values are applied when the element is initially displayed on the screen. The Hover state values are applied when the mouse cursor is over the element. And the Active state values are applied at the moment the element is clicked. 